In the world of embedded systems, everything begins with a single light. One LED, one microcontroller, blinking LED is the hello world of embedded. To blink an LED, we'll be using STM32 F4 microcontroller along with STM32 Cube IDE. First, let's initialize a project with our Cube IDE. Then, let's understand the header files our Cube IDE generates, specifically to include STM32 F4 XX.h file. The STM32 F4 header file is automatically generated by STM32 Cube IDE when we create a new project. These headers contain a crucial definition for our microcontroller, including register addresses and structures. The ID generates these based on the specific STM32 model we selected during project creation. Basically, they save us from having to manually define hundreds of register addresses and configurations ourselves. Now, to blink an LED on the nuclear F411RE board, we first have to locate what port pin combination our LED is tied to. Taking a look at the user guide, we see that the user LD2 is tied to PA5, that's port A pin 5. Now that we know which GPI port our LED is on, we can find the associated bus from the STM32 F4 datasheet to be the AHP1 bus. Now we can configure the clock for the AHP1. AHP1 peripheral, we see that to enable GPIOA, we have to write a 1 to the GPIOA clock enable register here. The RCC reset and clock control register manages all clocks on our microcontroller. Every peripheral lead that's clock enabled before use, GPI port A is connected to HP1 bus, HP1 enable register is enable register for this bus, and we use the OR equals operator to set bit zero while keeping other bits unchanged. Without this, our GPI port will have no clock and wouldn't work. Next, we configure our GPIO's pin direction using the motor register. Each pin needs two bits in motor, and for pin 5, we need bits 10 and 11. Setting a bit 10 to 1 and a bit 10, 11 to 0 configures it as output. Finally, setting bit 5 to the output data register will finally turn our LED on. All that's left to do now is run and build the code, and simply plug in your STM32 microcontroller. Blinking at LED, the hello world of embedded.